Hello everybody, Sergeant Soldier here, we're back with another episode for My Altus Life. Now, today we're going to be talking about making money, and the simplest, most legal way to make money in this game when you're first starting off is picking apples, or if you're in the right spot, you could also pick peaches, which is slightly up here, if you're starting from Kavala, which is where I'm at today. You can see, see, me, right there, you. So today I'm at the apple field, and when you're first starting off, if you listened to the last video and you decided to save your money and you didn't buy the license because you couldn't afford a vehicle anyway, there's one of two ways to get here. Either A, you got a bum a ride with a friend, or someone that's really, really nice that'll drive you over here, or B, you're going to have to walk. Now, it's not a far walk to the apple field from the DMV here, so it's not like you're going to have to spend 30 minutes running down the road. Hopefully, you don't get run over or gunned down. It's actually pretty easy. However, I will say, though, if you're going to walk over here, Always expect the apple field or even the peach field to be occupied. You never want to come over here just running off without even, you know, checking your surroundings or being cognizant of the fact that someone's going to try to kill you in this game. So you want to approach slowly and you want to try to keep a lookout. And it's something that's going to play through to every money-making scheme later on in the game. Every different resource that you're going to try to harvest, there's a the potential someone else is going to be there and they'll kill you to take what you have on you. So as you approach, always duck in bushes around trees and whatnot until you're sure you're either A, relatively safe, or you're completely alone. Now, if you do have a car like I do here, I decided to drive my hatchback, you can park it up in the field here. So here's the road down there. I drove around all this basically and parked it back where I'm at now, behind the trees. Hopefully where I'm at, no one from the road will be able to see my car and they won't come over here thinking, hey, this guy's making money. Let's steal his stuff. So as soon as you decide you want to farm apples, you get out of the car or you run over to a tree like this and you scroll your mouse wheel down and it'll give you the option of pick apples, pick peaches or whatever you're currently doing. All you got to do is press your space bar. Oops, it went away. There we go. Press your space bar. And now it says in the center of the screen, gathering apple. And you just stand here and wait. Here we go. Gather three apples. If you want to get rid of the, the drop down menu in the top left corner there, just hit your right mouse button. It'll go away and you just wait now. Three more apples. I had the large backpack, so my inventory is 96, and I'm currently using 62 because of the apples and some other stuff that I have in there. So basically all you do is you fill up your inventory with apples, and as soon as that stops, it'll say that you can't hold any more apples anymore. And then if you want to cancel it, you just move. See, gathering aborted, you must stay, remain still while gathering. So you go to your car, if you have a car, and you press T on it, and it'll open up your trunk inventory. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff on me. Double click on the apple, and instead of doing a single one, it'll change its bottom number to 21. Hit store, and all those apples go into your trunk. Now the weight up here, 150 is the total amount of weight your trunk can hold. Different items such as apples, peaches, and whatnot have different weights. Apples are obviously one because 21 apples are 21 weight which means your trunk of your hatchback will hold 150 apples. Now, when you're getting into the heavier stuff like cocaine or whatnot, those have a weight of three, so you're only gonna be able to put 50 cocaine or 50 heroin in your trunk. So basically all you gotta do is just go back and forth, you fill your inventory, like so, and then you fill your car up once they're both filled and you can no longer hold anything else, you press M and you look for the market, which for apples and peaches, it's super easy. Market's right there. Go ahead, you go to the market, and you sell. Now, of course, your car is now full of something that's worth money, and your inventory is something that's worth money. When you pull into the market, you gotta be very, very careful because people are looking for people like you. Bad guys are looking for people like you. People that they can rob either before they go to market or after they go to market. That way, they can make the money. So you gotta be really careful about this. A lot of people will just pull up right in front of the market, which is right here, and in Kavala, this is all blocked off, so you can't actually park here. You have to park against the building on the left side. People will park there, they'll run to the market, sell, run to the ATM, deposit, go to the truck, grab more apples, go to the market, ATM, and they'll just keep going around in circles. Other people, when you're not in as secure of an area, will actually park their car further away from the market, where it's somewhat hidden, such as behind a building, or behind trees or bushes, and make the very long run back and forth between the market and their car, and then finally ending at the ATM. So it all depends on how you want to do it. When you're selling apples and peaches and whatnot, it's really not all that 
uh, tempting, I guess you could say, for other people to try and steal from you. The rewards for, for killing you, essentially, are very low, as opposed to the bounty that they're going to get for killing you. You know what I mean? If you kill someone, you get a 5k bounty. And as of right now, if I sell all these apples that I have on me and in my trunk, I'll probably only make about $1,000, $2,000. So as you can see, it's not exactly worth it for all the bad guys to come and camp at these fields. So that's pretty much it for apples and peaches. They're really the same thing. There's no point in showing you both of them. Uh, it's honestly one of the easiest ways to farm money in this game. And it's relatively safe. Our next episode is going to show another relatively easy way to farm and make some money. However, it is, on this server at least, one of the most dangerous. And I don't understand why. Probably because it's a crafting component for a weapon later on down the game that sells for a lot. That's really the only reason I can see why, because this base component itself isn't worth a whole lot of money. So anyway, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. And I hope you guys are looking forward to the next upcoming episode and a different way to learn how to make a lot of money on Arma 3, Altus Life, the Asylum Server. So, Sergeant Soldier, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you want to see more great content from Private Astro or myself, please hit that subscribe button and click on any of the videos above. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next Sergeant Soldier or Private Astro video. Bye-bye!